Welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing my favorite uh, e.l.f. products today. I had a kind of a request from my friend to do some e.l.f. favorites that I have, and I have mentioned a few of these, but I have actually not really sat down and talked about just e.l.f. products. So I thought today I would um, do a video about the different e.l.f. products that I have in my collection and that I love. And almost all these products I've, I have tried. All these products I love, most of them. I, mo I love mo all, all of them because they wouldn't be in my collection if I didn't love them. I usually, if I have a product in my um, collection and it's cheap and like, or I've swapped it with somebody and it's a product from e.l.f. or whatever, it doesn't matter. I usually don't keep it in my collection because if it's not something I like, I'm not going to use it. All right, so let's get on with the foundations. I'm gonna start from there. I have tried a few foundations from e.l.f. I have tried their uh, tinted moisturizer, I believe, or it's their, it's not a BB cream, it's in a tube. Um, yeah, it's in a tube. I did not like that one. It broke down so fast and it was not that good and everything. But I have tried this one. This is the um, e.l.f. Flawless fin Finish Foundation. I have it in porcelain. This is an SPF of sun, 15 sunscreen. It has a pump. Um, I do like this one. Is it my favorite foundation in the whole entire world? No. Um, but for a drugstore option that's like, I think this is like $6, um, it is not a bad foundation. Um, it is a tiny bit dark for me, just a little bit, but it's not that bad. Um, I can remember. I, or maybe it's it's pretty close to my foundation. I'm trying to remember. Right now, I'm wearing the Estee Double Wear, which that's like my holy grail. So anyways, but I do like this, and I recommend it because it is really good. And then I'm going to move on to some eyeshadows. I have had quite a bit of different eyeshadows from e.l.f. I have cream eyeshadows, and I have a few single pan eyeshadows that I got a while back. Um, I do have their uh, cream cream pots and I'm going to talk about those because those are my favorite of all of this stuff. Um, this is the e.l.f. smudge pots in um, Popping Party. I have it in this purple. I found this one at Dollar Tree I think. They they were having a few there. Um, then this one is Crushing Chic. You can tell I really like this one. These are very smooth and moussey type of texture. I swear I had a, mo a couple more but I have decluttered some stuff from my collection so I may have gotten rid of it. And then I love, absolutely love, and I recommend the Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadows. I freaking love these. I found one at Big Lots, which I was kind of surprised. I'm wondering if they're getting rid of this shade, which is in Party. Um, it is a very different texture. It's kind of like those um, Maybelline Bounce um, blushes that kind of feels like that. Um, or maybe a ColourPop. I don't know. I've never had ColourPop, so... I have this one. I have the gold shade that's toast. I absolutely love this one. It is gorgeous and it's beautiful. Um, I use them under eyeshadows or over. It doesn't matter. Um, they are different consistency, so just be aware of that. These are all three dollars. And I have a like a crimson cranberry color. You can, pff, can you tell that one's my favorite? Like I've hit bottom on that one. I don't know what this shade is, guys. I'm sorry, but this is such a pure, pretty shade. I really like this color, and I think it's worth the full three dollars because they're just fabulous. Okay, eyebrows. I do not have the e.l.f. brow pencil. I don't particularly like brow pencils. I have some of the NYX ones. Um, I've gotten in love with this brow pomade from e.l.f. Um, well, they call it lock on liner and brow cream. Sorry, guys. I haven't taken my B12 today. Hmm. Sorry. So, um, it comes like this. Yeah, it's kind of, I jacked it up a little bit. But this is $3, and I absolutely love this. I don't think I can use anything else. I tried going to my pencils, and this is fabulous. I don't know what the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade is like. I'm sorry. I cannot compare it to that. I don't know what it's like, and I'm not going to buy it because I'm too cheap when it comes to my brow products. And if I find something that works for $3 and, you know, I can make it dark as I want or as light as I want, um, I'm not going to go buy a pomade that's going to dry out and it's like $20, $40. This is $3. Three. Three. So if this dries out, I'm not going to feel bad and I'll just go get a new one. Okay. 
Sorry with my rant, but I'm just telling you. Another brow product that I absolutely love is this. And y'all have seen this. It's, I've, I've, I think I've gone like through 20 of these things. Um, this is the e.l.f. Uh, blah, 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 mascara and brow gel. This is a dollar or two. Two dollars. It's gone up. It used to be a dollar. It's two dollars. Sometimes you can find a dollar tree. Two dollars. I freaking love this stuff. Like, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just got this. Yes, this is really good, but it's probably extremely expensive because it's an extremely expensive product um i'm gonna continue i will use that i will i've tried mary Kay. i hated that one um i've tried a couple other ones i don't like them it i just this is two dollars it's holy grail there and i also like their elf some hair on it um elf double ended uh spoolie and angled brush I use this for my brows. This is the best one I ever bought. I think I got this at Target for three bucks, because um, I don't, I didn't get it around here where I live, because um, we don't have Target. But this is the best product I have ever had in my entire life. This is my favorite way to put on the pomade. All right, since I started talking about brushes, we're gonna talk about some brushes. Actually, hold on. I want to talk about this e.l.f. compact that I have that has the custom compact. Um, it has four shades in here. These are all a dollar. Um, these are not bad, but they're not my favorite. I know this is supposed to be my e.l.f. favorites. I do like them, and I do use them, and they're only a dollar, so I really can't, um, you know, I mean, and they're mag I took the little plastic thing out here, because this, all of this cost a dollar. The, the compact itself cost a dollar, and then it, all together, the, the single pans were a dollar, which were five dollars all together. For a dollar eyeshadow, it is not that bad. Um, it's better than color mates that you find at Dollar Tree. It's better than those shadows. They are a little powdery. I mean, you know, they are pigmented. Um, so they're not, they're not, they're just not my favorite, of course, because my favorites are been the cake. But from e.l.f., I do like these shadows. I had a quad from someone that gave it to me. I hated that. Um, these are the best e.l.f. shadows I have used. I imagine they have better, but... I like it because I customized it myself. I picked out these colors myself. Um, oh, let's see if I can remember. The green one is Sage, which is this one here. The purple one is just purple. Um, and the and then there's a pink one. This one's pink. It's not really. It's like a champagne color. And then this one is a gold color. I don't know what the name is because it came off the bottom. All right, moving on. So, now, brushes, because I'm going to move on to brushes since I started talking about brushes. I have probably more than this in my collection, but these are the ones that stand out to me. I have some of the... Where did my $1 brush go? Well... Oh, did I throw it in? Oh, there it is. Okay, I have... I'm having problems today with my backdrop. All right. Sorry guys. Okay, I have a $1 brush. Um, I don't have a lot of these, but I have a few of them. This is the one I like. Um, I have quite a different range of the um, e.l.f. brushes, but this is the e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush. I love this to do my eyelashes or my eyebrows. Um, you can see it's dirty, but I need to wash it. But I use this for, I don't use this for concealer. I use this to either put glue on my eyelashes, my fake ones, or I use this for my eyebrows. And it's only a dollar, and this is one of the best dollar brushes that I have in my, excuse me, in my collection. All right, now I'm going to talk about the Studio range, which is the brand that is black, and it's usually a little bit more expensive for the brushes. My favorite brush from their collection, which I have, is the e.l.f. contouring brush. This is six dollars. It is dense, it is compact, and I'm telling you what, this will chisel your cheeks like nobody's business. Um, this is the best brush I ever got from e.l.f. It is $6, and uh, it's one of my favorite ones. I have another one that I used to use for contouring, but I like this one better. Um, this is just, it's fabulous. I love these brushes. This one's for sure. My next one that I really, really like um, is the e.l.f. blending brush. This I found at Walmart. Um, it took me a long time to find this because they had brought it out and I kept looking for it at all the e.l.f. displays, but no one got it. 
and then it would be sold out at Walmart. But this is a great blending brush. It's very um, short and, uh, you know, fat, and it's got a lot of ha uh, hairs in there, but it's very soft. It's not, like, dense. It's not, like, like this one is dense. Like, this is, you know, it's, it's a dense brush. Um, it doesn't give as much as this one. Um, it's more for, like, I'll either use it to put on my, my powder. I'll blend out my contour with this. Um, I dust off, you know, if something falls under my eye. Um, mostly I do this to bl blend out my contour. That's what I use it for. Or to blend my, like if I get too much blush, I use it to blend away some of that. But it's great. I love it. Another brush that I like, and I don't know if they still have these because I found a ton of these at Dollar Tree. But this is the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. But anyone like this, um, is a great pack on eyeshadow. I think I have like 10 of these. I went crazy. When they were at Dollar Tree, I was like, pff, 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 and I got a bunch of them. Anyway. All right. Now the regular angled brush. This is the Elf Small Angled Brush. This is awesome for my brows. If I, this one's dirty, um, I will use this one. It's still awesome. It's just the $3 brush. I believe this is $3. Anyways, this is the, um, Elf mascara and shadow shield, and you're supposed to put on your eye and block the stuff. Um, this I don't use as much. I bought it thinking that I would not get mascara under my eye and all that jazz, but no. I mean, it's it's good. It's good quality. I just don't use it. It's not like I don't like it. It's just I don't use it. All right. Um, this is the Elf Acne Fighting Gel. If I this is a dollar or two. I think this is two dollars. Um, it's just a roll-on. With Sally, hold on, Sally looks like acid. I use this when I have a pimple, like if it's really bad, I will use this and have this in my purse or in my, you know, my vanity, and I'll use it next to my other pimple cream that I use. But I do like this. Um, the other products I do like are the Elf, and I don't know if they're discontinuing these or not, but this is the Nourishing Cuticle Pen. These were like two bucks, I think, on their website. I found these, I've ordered these from their website a, year, a couple years while back um and I found them at Big Lots there was a bunch of them there so I don't know if they're discontinuing these but I'm still going to mention them because if you do find them at Big Lots they're only like a dollar I think or something they're super good I like these um I need to get some more but um highlighting I don't have their powder highlighters I know they're supposed to be good and I don't have any of their blushes I did have a cream blush but I got rid of it because it kind of got all gunked up I like their four pan, I did have that previously, but I actually um, swapped it with someone because honestly I wasn't using it. I have way too many blushes and that's why I don't have any of the e.l.f. blushes. I do have one of their um, all over highlighting sticks. This one is in Prism. It is a pink highlight. I don't use this all the time, but it is a nice um, pink highlight and I do like it. And these are only like $2. There's a gold one that I want to get that's really pretty and they do have some like squeezy liquid ones. I kind of like the stick form more than I would like the liquid because I'm very picky about liquid highlighters, but needless to say, it is good. This is the e.l.f. glitter primer. I, I'm not even sure they still make this, but I found this at Dollar Tree again. Um, you can find a lot of e.l.f. products at Dollar Tree, like really, or big lots. Um, I have three of these, <laughs> so it tells you how much I actually like went and got it. Um, these are great. I love this. I have an elf. Um, I have several glitter pigments that I use with this, and I really like it. The setting spray and the makeup cleaning brush. This is the daily brush cleaner. This is three dollars. I do like this if I'm doing a look and I really need that brush. Um, I don't like the scent though. Like, I can't remember if it has a. Yeah, it kind of has like a flower, like almost a perfumey smell. I don't particularly like that, but in a quick pinch, for three bucks, this isn't bad. And the e.l.f. Mi uh, makeup mist and set, this is alright. It doesn't like really like lock in my makeup. It just kind of like gives it like a refresher. Um, so I do like it. It's $3. Um, I've been wanting to try it. So yeah, it's good. It's not like my ultimate favorite of all time, but I do like it. This is the e.l.f. hydrating lip gloss. Um, I just got these not that long ago, but I actually do like these. This is a dollar. Well, I found this at Big Lots. I think these are, I know these are still sold on them. They're comparable to the Stila. Um, I wouldn't say that this, uh, this I could, I not even have a, hmm. Yeah, but I'll definitely use this, so I like that one. And then, 
This is the e.l.f. Makeup Block and Seal. This, uh, you put a couple drops in your, um, liquid makeup, and it's supposed to make your makeup, like, lock in, and it actually does. It really works. It comes with, like, a little pot and a little stirring stick, like a little makeup brush, but pff, I don't know where that is. But this is good, too. Um, it's something I use occasionally if I'm, like, gonna be out all day and I need my makeup to be, like, really, um, stuck in. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all my e.l.f. products. But those are just my favorites and my recommendations and what I think is good from the brand that I have in my collection. Alright guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!